You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers and their quarterback situation. Because I believe the sentiment coming out of Pittsburgh is that they're going to look for somebody that's either going to compete with Kenny Pickett or they could take end up taking a real swing. It's very interesting. We found out the number one quarterback that's going to be on the market is keeping a serious eye on the Steelers. I, I said a while back, I like that fit if this was to happen. Because you got a veteran Super Bowl coach with a veteran quarterback that's put up some really big numbers. He's also going to get a really big contract in the offseason. But before we jump in quite into that, we've got a uh, Steelers insider that's uh, poo-pooing, for lack of a better way of putting it. Well, let's just put it this way. He's crapping all over the idea of Justin Fields coming to the Steelers. And I find this kind of interesting. I think Justin Fields and the Steelers makes a little sense. And there's members of the coaching staff that, that like Fields a lot. And I just, the amount of money for somebody like Fields into a competition situation may make more sense than taking a massive swing. But I will say this. Let us not forget Art Rooney II told Mike Tomlin publicly through the media, it's win in the playoffs or there's trouble. Well, if you've been given that kind of directive, you better make sure you got your quarterback right. That's all I'm saying. Pittsburgh Post-Gazette's Jerry DeLuke doesn't see the match, talking about Justin Fields. In his weekly chat, DeLuke explains how maybe Fields' hype is a little out of control and what the Steelers are looking for may not line up with a splashy trade. Quote, I can't imagine Fields wanting to sign with a team where he won't be the number one quarterback, and I don't believe the Steelers are in the market for a number one quarterback, DeLuke wrote. The Steelers are the running favorites. They're the running favorites to land Justin Fields. And many insiders have said there are, quote, a few fans of the young quarterback within the coaching staff and front office. But if the stars don't align, they're calling in Mason Rudolph out of the bullpen. Okay. And just keep in mind, Justin Fields, as of right now, is on a rookie deal. Okay. So you can very well have him on the roster with Kenny Pickett and let them compete, and you're still not spending any money. But you will if you go get Kirk Cousins. And Kirk Cousins and his team are really keeping, quote, an eye on the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, so that's that's interesting, and this is uh, by way of Florio, it looks like, actually. According to PFT's Mike Florio, Former Minnesota Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins is, quote, keeping an eye on the Steelers as a potential landing spot this offseason. I think if they want it, I think if Tomlin wants another ring and Kirk Cousins wants one, it's not a bad place to look. Quote, I was talking to some people last week who seemed intrigued. He's talking last week at the Super Bowl and all those festivities where everybody is there, GMs, coaches, yada, yada, yada. I was talking to some people last week who seemed to be intrigued at the possibility of the Steelers making a play for Kirk Cousins, Florio said. And those people were very, uh, were very too, if not, within the Kirk Cousins camp. There's an acknowledgement that it could happen. The Falcons and Steelers are the two teams that I think the Cousins camp is keeping an eye on. Cousins is coming off an Achilles injury, but is still expected to sign for roughly $40 million per season. The four-time Pro Bowler wouldn't be much of a risk, even outside of the injury. He's, a, he's proven for 12 years now he's capable of winning in the NFL. If the Steelers catch wind Cousins could sign, 
They may try to clear as much space as possible, but sitting roughly $44 million over the cap prior to free agency, it would take a lot of moves to come up with the money. It can always be worked out. Now, I, I know a lot of times they bring up these cap things, but if a team really wants to do it, if they really want to do it, they figure out how to roll the money in different directions. Uh, and or get get rid of a you know some dead weight right, uh, but yes, these teams can always figure it out if they need to, and you got a situation where it's like you go to your veterans on the team and say, look, we got a chance to get Kirk Cousins in here and make a Super Bowl run, all right, and and you're talking about a team that's got a good defense with the Steelers, which is something that Kirk Cousins hasn't always had. He still has weapons, Deontay Johnson, George Pickens, Jalen Warren, Najee Harris. I mean, there's weapons for Kirk Cousins to work with. The Steelers are not like the Patriots or the Panthers where they're devoid of offensive talent. That's not a thing. It's the quarterback that is the problem. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The quarterback is the problem, and I think the problem with the Justin Fields is can you compete? For a playoff spot, sure you can. You go get Kirk Cousins, it's can we compete to go to the Super Bowl? Is that a possibility? All right, now we got a guy we can put out there on the field when we're having to go against Lamar Jackson, when we're having to go against Joe Burrow, I'll be damned if I say Deshaun Watson, it's not going to happen. I'm not sold on him, and I think the Browns, are in for a possible drop-off next year because I don't think Watson can get the job done. But that's neither here nor there. My point is, you got to get out of your own division. Kirk Cousins certainly allows you to do that. And it's far and away the best quarterback they would have since some of the better years of Ben Roethlisberger, right? Um, I still wonder sometimes about the Niners and Kirk Cousins because of how much Kyle Shanahan likes him. Uh, But nonetheless, he's going to be the most coveted guy in the class. My question would be to Steelers fans, would you rather go $40 million for Kirk Cousins at 35 years old or would you rather go Baker Mayfield for 35 at 29 years old? Knowing now... In a perfect world, if I'm being honest, Cousins probably has, let's say, maybe five more touchdowns passing in him. So something like Baker has 28 next year, Cousins has like 33 to 35. That's the kind of difference. If Baker's got 4,000 yards in him, Kirk Cousins might have like 4,300 in him. There's not a lot of... Not a lot of difference there in production, although four or five touchdowns can go a long way. I just wonder, what what would Steelers fans rather have? If you could get Baker on $30 million versus Cousins at 40 that's an interesting uh, uh, question to be asked. Justin Fields, I do not think... It's a guarantee you can make the playoffs with him. Competitive, yes. Playoffs, I don't think it's a a definite. Kirk Cousins, yeah, you're probably making the playoffs. Baker Mayfield, yeah, you're probably making the playoffs. I still think, I still think, if I'm being real and being more realistic, you're looking at Kenny Pickett and Ryan Tannehill. That's my gut feeling. And if Kenny Pickett crashes and burns, you've got a veteran they can call out of the bullpen that knows Arthur Smith's system inside and out. And yes, if the stars align in all the right places, you can make the playoffs with a Ryan Tannehill. Are you going to win the Super Bowl with Ryan Tannehill or compete for one? I'm, I don't think so. I don't. And, it, it, and, and, of course, there's part of me that wonders if Mike Tomlin's going to want out after the season anyway. So tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.